Hello everyone! In this lesson on minor key signatures, we will be looking at the differences between major and minor melodies. So how can you tell if a melody is major or minor? Well first, you can look at the key signature. Then you find the resting tone of the melody and compare that to the key signature. But finding the resting tone of a melody on the staff is not as easy as looking at a string diagram. How do you find the resting tone of a melody? Melodies usually end on the resting tone. In this musical example, the last note of the melody is an A. The key signature has no sharps or flats, which we know is the key of C major, or the relative minor of C major, which is A minor. So is this melody in C major or A minor? If you said A minor, you're correct. Let's look at another one. This musical example has three sharps. The last sharp is G sharp, and if we go up a half step from that, we arrive at A. So this could be the key of A major, but it could also be the relative minor of A major. If we go down a minor third from A, we land on F sharp. So it could be F sharp minor. Looking at the last note of the melody will help us figure out if this is the key of A major or F sharp minor. Since the last note is A, it's probably in the key of A major. Let's look at one more. The key signature for this melody has one flat, so we know it's possibly in F major, and the first note of the melody is an F. But what is the resting tone and the key of this particular melody? Even though the first note of the melody is F, the last note is a D. This melody is probably in D minor. Now read lesson 25.3 in your workbook and complete the workbook exercises for this lesson. Then answer the questions in the Unit 25 study guide to review the entire unit. My name is Christopher Selby. Thank you for watching this tutorial on music theory for the successful string musician.